Have you ever wondered if there could be another version of you living a different life, making different choices, and experiencing an entirely different reality? Imagine, just for a moment, that there are countless versions of yourself existing in parallel universes, each one living out the we h ifs and possibilities that you've pondered. Now one of these versions has an urgent message for you, a message that could change your life completely, but you won't be able to receive the message yet if you don't. Follow these steps, brace yourself, as now we'll discover the truth of our parallel versions. Universal interconnection before we get there, though. We need to establish something important. Parallel versions aren't just the stuff of science fiction. They're a concept that finds echoes. In spiritual teachings and ancient philosophies, most if not all spiritual traditions throughout history speak of the interconnectedness of all things, an idea that resonates with the concept of parallel universes. For example, ancient Hindu philosophy speaks of Maya, the illusion of reality suggesting that what we perceive is just one layer of a vast multi-dimensional existence. Similarly, some interpretations of Buddhist teachings suggest that all moments, all possibilities exist simultaneously, but our perception limits us to experiencing just one version of reality at a time. But what, what if these other versions of reality are not so distant after all? What if they're accessible through our intuition dreams or moments of deep meditation? Some believe that our subconscious mind, which is less bound by the constraints of time and space, can tay, pee into these parallel realities. It's in these moments of intuition that our parallel selves might be trying to communicate with us. Our higher self, a part of us that exists beyond the physical plane, can observe all these parallel versions and guide us toward the path that aligns with our highest potential. This higher self acts like a beacon gently nudging us through synchronicities, unexpected insights, or sudden bursts of inspiration. It's as if our parallel selves are whispering to us, Hey, there's more to life than you realize. Pay attention. Parallel verse. Ions and higher selves in some mystical traditions there are stories of individuals receiving guidance from higher beings or alternate versions of themselves during altered states. Of consciousness, these experiences often come with a sense of clarity and urgency as if the message is vitally important for the person's current path. These encounters can be seen as a form of guidance from our parallel selves, offering us wisdom from a broader perspective that we might not see in our everyday lives. There's also a fascinating concept in quant quantum physics, known as quantum entanglement, where particles become connected in such a way that the state of one instantly influences the state of another, no matter the distance between them. This idea, though scientific in nature, mirrors the spiritual concept of interconnectedness and could be a metaphor for the connection we have with our parallel selves, just as these particles communicate across vast distances. Perhaps we, too, are linked to our other selves, sharing knowledge and experiences in ways we don't fully understand. This connection can manifest in our lives through each deja vu, the sense that we've lived a moment before or through Sudden bursts of creativity that seem to come from an unknown source. Some people report experiencing vivid dreams where they live out alternate lives, feeling as if they've stepped into another version of themselves. These experiences can be more than mere curiosity, as they can offer insights, guidance, and even warnings about our current path. For instance, if you've ever felt stuck or uncertain about a decision and then suddenly received an unexpected sign or an intuitive hit that guided you towards a particular direction, it could be seen as a form of communication from your parallel self. This version of you might have already navigated similar situations and is offering its wisdom to help you on your journey. In ancient Greek philosophy, the concept of the diamond was introduced by Socrates as a kind of inner voice or guiding spirit that provided wisdom and insight. This daemon could be seen as analogous to the idea of our higher self or parallel self, a guiding force that helps us align with our true path by tuning into this inner guidance we k and make decisions that are not only wise but also in harmony with our highest good.
So what might your parallel version want to tell you right now? Perhaps it's a message about a decision you're facing, urging you to take a leap of faith, to follow a dream you've been hesitating on, or to let go of something that no longer serves you. It could be a reminder of the importance of compassion of staying true to your values or of pursuing a deeper understanding of yourself and the world around you. Tune to the messages. One way to tune into these messages is through P. Practices like meditation, journaling, or simply spending time in quiet reflection. When we still the mind, we create space for insights to arise for that inner voice, potentially the voice of our parallel self to be heard. It's in these moments of stillness that we can connect with a deeper part of ourselves, the part that is not limited by the physical constraints of time and space. In practical terms, how can we better listen to these messages? It starts with cultivating a mindset of openness and curiosity. Be willing to question the status quo to explore new ideas and to embrace the unknown when you encounter synchronicities or feel a strong intuitive pull Take a moment to reflect on what it might mean. Ask yourself, what is my parallel self? Trying to tell me what lesson or insight is being offered. It's also beneficial to surround yourself with positive influences, people, books, and environments that uplift and inspire you. This creates a fertile ground for receiving and understanding the messages from your parallel self. The more you immerse yourself in uplifting and expansive energies, the more attuned you you become to the subtle nudges and guidance that come from beyond the physical realm. But just as we can be approached by our parallel selves with good intentions, we can also be approached by other entities with malevolent ones. That's why it's important to confirm that you're interacting with your parallel self and not another spiritual being masquerading as one. How do we do this, though? How do I know it's a parallel version reaching out to me to know a parallel self? For this, we turn again to the realm of quantum physics. Here the theory of the multiverse proposes that there could be an infinite number number of parallel universes each with its version of events and outcomes. But since these parallel universes converge, so do the ideas and thoughts of the people within them. Many people call these gut feelings. These moments might be accompanied by a sense of deja vu where you feel you've encountered a situation or insight before. Even though it's entirely new, this sensation can be a subtle hint that another version of you has experienced something similar and the knowledge is trickling through to your curé, anti consciousness. So when you sense that a message or insight might be coming from a parallel version of yourself, it often feels different from everyday thoughts or ideas unlike regular thoughts that can be muddled or conflicted. Messages from parallel versions often carry a sense of urgency or clarity as if they're cutting through the noise of everyday life. These insights might arise during meditation dreams or even moments of quiet reflection catching you off guard with their vividness and depth. Parallel selves can also be a source of inspiration, sparking new ideas or creative endeavors many artists, writers, and Innovators describe moments of sudden inspiration, sometimes credited to dreamlike states or meditation. These moments can be interpreted as messages from parallel selves who are perhaps more creatively inclined or who have explored different artistic paths. This idea aligns with the muse concept in Greek mythology, where divine inspirations guide creative expression signs from your parallel selves can also manifest as synchronicities those meaningful coincidences that seem too perfect to be random. Perhaps you're thinking about a major life decision and suddenly you encounter signs pointing you in a particular direction. These synchronicities can serve as gentle nudges from the universe, guided by the experiences and wisdom of your parallel selves who have already walked the path you're considering. So what's the best spiritual practice to discern whether these experiences are connected to parallel versions of yourself? Experts agree that mindfulness and introspection are the go-to techniques for this by regularly setting aside time to quiet your mei, end and tune into your inner self you become more attuned to. The sub-messages and feelings that arise from within meditation in particular can be a powerful tool for accessing deeper states of awareness where these connections become more apparent.
The practice of mindfulness rooted in Buddhist tradition encourages us to observe our thoughts and feelings without judgment, allowing us to become more receptive to insights from other dimensions of our being. Speaking of which, there's another way to contact your parallel self and learn from them if you're willing. G. To practice it constantly. Sleep triggers are parallel selves. Have you ever had a dream where you were living a completely different life? Perhaps in another time or place? These vivid dreams might not just be random figments of imagination, but could represent glimpses into the lives of your parallel selves as we close our eyes and drift into the realm of sleep. A mysterious and fascinating process begins while our physical bodies rest. Our consciousness remains active, connecting with different aspects of our being, including our parallel selves. This concept may, I sound like something out of a science fiction novel, but it has roots in ancient philosophies and modern theories alike. In dreams, you might find yourself living an entirely different life, with different surroundings, people, or even a different persona. These dreams can sometimes feel more real than your waking life, leaving a lasting impression. Such experiences might not just be figments of your imagination, but could be glimpses into the lives of your parallel selves. The ancient Greek philosopher Plato spoke of the world of forms, a realm of perfect ideas, and re, a lities that we can occasionally access through deep contemplation or dreams. This notion aligns with the idea that our consciousness can tap into other realms or versions of ourselves during sleep particularly in the phases of deep sleep and REM rapid eye movement sleep. Our consciousness can transcend the limits of our current. Reality in these states, we are less tethered to our everyday concerns and more open to experiences beyond our normal waking life. This is when our parallel selves often come into play. For instance, you might dream of being in a place you've never visited, doing things, things that seem entirely unfamiliar yet somehow feel deeply resonant. These experiences can be the result of your parallel self-experiencing those scenarios with your dream state acting as a channel to share these moments with you. This sharing happens because at a deeper level, all versions of yourself are interconnected. The collective consciousness, a concept explored by Carl Jung, suggests that there is a shared reservoir of knowledge and experience that transcends individual existence through dreams we tap into, this collective consciousness accessing the wisdom and experiences of our parallel selves. Our parallel selves may also choose to communicate during sleep because it is a time when our conscious minds are less resistant in our waking state. We are often preoccupied with the logical and the known, making it challenging to perceive or accept messages from other realities. Sleep, however, however, provides a fertile ground for these connections to flourish, as our defenses are lowered and our imagination is more receptive. This aligns with the toist philoso, pie of woe or effortless action, which emphasizes the importance of aligning with the natural flow of life. Rather than resisting it, in the quiet of sleep we are naturally aligned with the flow of our greater consciousness, the eureka effect. When do these parallel selves act? And why do they choose these moments? The timing often coincides with moments of transition or uncertainty in our lives, just as a mentor or guide might offer advice during challenging times. Our parallel selves may step in to provide guidance or support when we need it most. They might ET help us explore different options, consider new perspectives, or even war us of potential pitfalls. This can be particularly valuable when we are faced with decisions or Part S that could significantly alter our life's course. For example, if you're grappling with a career change, you might dream of working in a completely different field, providing you with insights or feelings that you hadn't considered, or if you're struggling with a relationship issue, a dream might offer a resolution or a new way of understanding the situation, reflecting the experiences of a Parallel self who has navigated similar challenges, the motivations. Behind these actions are rooted in the interconnected nature of our existence, just as we would help a friend or loved one facing a difficult decision. Our parallel selves are motivated by a desire to support and guide us. 
They act as extensions of our consciousness, seeking to share their experiences and lessons to aid us in our journey. This concept echoes the Buddhist idea of interconnectedness, where all beings are seen as part of a greater whole, each influencing and being influenced. Baby as I the others in some cases the actions of parallel selves during sleep can be subtle, manifesting as a simple feeling of clarity or peace upon waking other times. They can be more direct with specific messages or insights that resonate deeply. These experiences can serve as reminders that we are not alone in our journey and that there is a vast network of wisdom and support available to us. Even from dimensions we cannot fully perceive in our waking state. Moreover, these interactions are not limited to just providing guidance. They can also be a source of inspirati. On creativity and innovation, many artists, writers, and scientists have reported receiving ideas or solutions to problems in their dreams, often attributing these moments of inspiration to some form of higher consciousness or otherworldly connection. This phenomenon, known as the your weir effect, can be seen as the influence of parallel selves sharing their insights and experiences. But what do these messages actually bring to us? Are they dark omens of negative events to happen or future blessings? The truth of the messages parallel selves oft and bring messages that are insightful guiding and sometimes Surprising these messages can be seen as whispers from the parts of ourselves that exist in different realities or dimensions. Each having lived through unique experiences and challenges they serve to broaden our perspective, offer guidance and sometimes challenge our current ways of thinking. Let's take a deeper look at the types of messages parallel selves might convey. Parallel selves frequently offer guidance on life decisions big and small. This could range from career advice, relationship insight, TS, or personal growth tips, for example. If you're facing a significant decision, a parallel self might provide a perspective based on a life where they made a similar choice. This guidance often feels like a nudge or a strong intuition urging you toward a particular path or decision. It resonates with the idea found in many spiritual traditions, like the concept of the higher self in metaphysical beliefs, which suggests that there's a part of us that is wiser and more attuned to our true purpose. Sometimes parallel selves bring messages of caution, warning us of potential pitfalls or challenges. These warnings can manifest as uneasy feelings, vivid dreams of danger, or recurring thoughts about a particular course of action. This protective guidance is similar to the concept of guardian angels in various religious traditions beings that watch over us and try to steer us away from harm. It suggests that our parallels, having possibly faced similar situations, want to help us avoid mistakes. They may have made parallel selves often share lessons they've learned from their own experiences, which can be incredibly in lie. Stinning these lessons might come as sudden realizations or deep understandings about life relationships or self-worth. The lessons often feel familiar as if unlocking a truth that we already knew. Deep down, this sharing of wisdom is akin to the philosophical teachings found in many traditions, where wisdom is passed down to aid others on their spiritual journey at times parallel selves, bring messages that facilitate emotional healing. They may provide insights into unresolved issues helping us to understand and release past traumas or emotional pain. This is particularly resonant with the concept of soul retrieval in shamanic practices, where parts of the soul lost due to trauma are brought, brought back and integrated. These messages can help us gain closure, forgiving ourselves or others, and moving forward with a lighter heart. Messages from parallel selves often come as affirmations, reinforcing that we are on the right path or that we possess the strength and resilience. To overcome current challenges, this encouragement can be deeply comforting, providing a sense of support and solidarity. It resonates with the Buddhist idea of bodhisattvas beings who have achieved enlightenment but choose to help others on their spiritual journey. Moreover, these glimpses into parallel lives can be a source of deep inspiration and guidance. They can show us untapped potentials and desires that we may not have been fully aware of. Perhaps you dream of a life where you're a writer. Crafting stories that inspire others, this could be a message from a pay 
Rallel self urging you to explore your creative side and express your thoughts and feelings more openly. Such experiences can be a call to action, encouraging us to align more closely with our true passions and aspirations. The messages from our parallel selves also challenge us to reflect on the limitations we place on ourselves. Often we get caught up in societal expectations or personal insecurities, which can narrow our view of what's possible. These messages can help help us break free from these constraints, opening our minds to the broader SP. Ectrum of our capabilities, it's similar to the Buddhist concept of awakening, where one gains insight into the true nature of reality and the self transcending the illusions that bind us lastly. Parallel selves often encourage us to delve deeper into our spiritual practice, whether it's through meditation, mindfulness, or other spiritual disciplines. They may bring messages about the importance of self-care, inner peace, and spiritual alignment. This can be seen as an invitation to explore deeper spiritual truths and connect more profoundly with our inner selves. And the universe such messages align with the teachings of many spiritual traditions which emphasize the importance of inner exploration and growth. Parallel selves can serve as guiding lights helping us navigate the complexities of our lived lives with greater wisdom and insight. But to receive their blessings, you need to stay open and receptive to their signals. This will enrich your understanding of yourself and the world around you and make your journey through life more meaningful and fulfilling. I hope you enjoyed the video and please subscribe to the CI. Hanno, thanks for watching.